Hi guys. Happy little day today. Now, welcome back to another episode of This Junk, where I remake a song entirely from the ground up without being able to hear it the whole time. Here's how it's going to work. I get to listen to the song once, take notes on it once. After I listen, the computer goes on mute, and I have to remake the entire song without being able to hear a damn thing. And then at the end of the video, we get to listen to the song and see how good I did. See how close I got. And at this point, I've been doing it for so long that I'm starting to get a little too good at it. To the point where it's just not even funny anymore. The songs I'm doing sound way too close to the original for it to even be funny. Baby, can't you see? So today I figured, why don't I challenge myself? Why don't we pick an epic, epic ballad? And that is Vampire by Olivia Rodrigo. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, guys, the computer's on mute now. Can't hear a damn thing I'm doing. Hate the way that I call them crazy, too. So we've got this chord progression. Then we have a different chord progression for that other part. So I'm thinking we just, like, pick a different one. Maybe something like that. Maybe something like this could work. You know, it's songs like this where all the odds are against me. Especially when it comes to the piano chord progression. Because it's not like I can eyeball it on the piano because I don't know how to play piano. See, this song is so interesting. They've got so many different pianos. Now for the blood sucker part, we need a gentle piano. Blood sucker. You know, I'm so quick to doubt myself. So quick to sit here and be like, that's not going to turn out good. There's no way this song is ever going to turn out that good. But I'm over here looking at this going, this actually looks right. All right, we've got just piano chords. Check. Yep, just piano chords and vocals for the first verse. Check. God, this is going to be so hard to sing on time. That's right. Faster piano for the second verse and kick, kick, kick on every hard beat. Fine with that. What do you lie? What do you lie? Why do you lie? This works. I don't care. See, the kick pattern in this song is, like, so easy. It's like they're they're passing me a layup at this point. Now we gotta find that nice ambient synth to come in on that made some real big mistakes. You know, there's one thing about this song, it knows how to build. There's one thing about Olivia Rodrigo is that she knows how to build to something. She knows how to keep the momentum of the song going. God. It's really a crazy song. It just keeps going and it gets more and more intense as it goes on. It's really amazing. I made some real big mistakes. You made the worst one look fine. I should have. I don't have a good feeling about this synth because I'm like, what's going on right here? What happened here? You know, it's time like these where sometimes in life you just can't have it all. All the synths that are already in F major are just wrong. And it seems like the only right answers is the one that are just wrong and I have to make it right. Like D major. I have to turn that into F major somehow. But you know what? Sometimes you have to do the right thing before you can uh, do the right thing. Sometimes you have to have something. Sometimes something has to be wrong for you to do the right thing. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. You know what? I didn't even put this down, but why don't we add a little hi-hat? I don't even care. Hi-hat loop. Don't care. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm saying is I don't even care. I've been thinking about dipping my toes into motivational speaking lately. It's been something that's been plaguing my mind a little bit. Like, oh, what am I doing with my life? What's my purpose? What's my look? And I was thinking, you know, if I'm a motivational speaker, I don't really need to have a look. I can just have a purpose and that's to help. Oh, you can't do that stuff. Oh, you can't do it. Oh, I couldn't do it one day either. Then I just did. Ah! Ah! We could find like a really long ascension. Something like that. God, this is gonna be so hard. This is gonna be so freaking hard. Hate to give the satisfaction, asking how you're doing now. I made some real big mistakes. You made the worst one look fine. I should have known it was strange. You only come out at night. I used to 
to think I was far. You made me look so naive. The way you saw me before. You said you did it to me. Do you guys remember when the song first came out and there were all these conspiracy theories that the song actually wasn't about Zach Pia and instead it was about Taylor Swift? That this song was about how Taylor Swift said that Olivia Rodrigo was copying her, took all her money from her or something. How Olivia and Taylor Swift, they don't say hi to each other at the Grammys or anything. They don't look at each other. Taylor Swift claps a little too hard for Olivia every time. This must be something up between those people. Fame effer, like blood esser. Essing me dry like a G damn vampire. Oh my god, it's like how Taylor Swift sucked Olivia's money out of her. That was a crazy time and a lot of people believed it. A lot of people really did believe it. They were like, no, that's totally what it's about. It's not what it's about. It's definitely about this strange guy. God knows I never will wait for me and hurt her. Cause girls your age know better I me some re- How do you even think of this? This song's too damn hard. It's too damn difficult to do. You think in the middle of the session, Olivia was thinking of this song and then she realized, God damn it, this is like a really hard song to sing. Like, how am I going to do this? Olivia's probably over here like, everyone's saying that this song's so hard to sing. It's really not a problem for me. Actually, I think she it didn't even cross her mind how hard this song is to sing because it's so not hard for her. It's like not even a big deal. It's like she's just like breathing. You said it was true love, and wouldn't that be hard? I can't love anyone, cause that would mean you had a heart. I tried to help you out, and I know that I can't. I made some real big mistakes. You made the worst one look fine. I should have known it was strange. You only come out in hell. the thing. You made me look so naive The way you saw me for part You suck your teeth into me Oh, my God, sucker Fame ever Beat me dry like a damn vampire Now, if you really boil it down Me and Olivia We're just like two degrees away from really knowing each other from like hanging out Olivia was on that show that Disney show ever heard of it the one with Jake Paul and, and Logan Paul I was at the Fenway Target in Boston in September of, t of 2018 and I saw Jake Paul going up the up escalator while I was going down the down escalator getting a bunch of rolls of toilet paper for the 48 hour film festival I was in I go up the down escalator, I set the buzzer off. Jake Paul goes, what the hell? You just broke the escalator, what the hell? He's filming his vlog. I go, good morning, Jake Paulers, in the vlog. Everyone, the crowd goes wild. He starts fainting because it's just me and a bunch of nine-year-olds going, Jake Paul, Jake Paul. Next day I wake up, I see that I'm in the vlog. I'm in the Jake Paul vlog where they make a Ouija board. I made a Ouija board. I'm in the little Target area, little Target section. I post a photo of me and Jake Paul on Instagram. I say there's two most important mo moments of your life, the moment that you're born and the moment you find out why. I posted that as the caption of my photo with Jake Paul. Jake Paul comments on the photo. I have all these nine-year-olds in my comments arguing if it's Photoshopped or not. Her arm is missing. Her arm is missing. That's what happens when you put your arm behind someone. You can't see it. Everyone's calling me a liar, a phony, a fake fan, a freak, a creep even. Saying that it's photoshopped. It's not photoshopped. I did meet him in the Fenway Target in January. No, September of 2018. And I never forgot it. And he never forgot it. I sat at my phone waiting for a DM ever since. When will I be able to come to the Team 10 house? Oh, I know he doesn't live there anymore, but when will I be a part of Team 10? Not the team anymore, no one on the team anymore, but maybe there could be a team of two. And DM never came. And you know what? That's okay. Olivia and I, like, we're basically, like, we have a mutual friend, you know? Yeah, no, we have, a, we have some mutual friends, yeah. Yeah, no, it's no big deal. It's like not a big deal. I'm not really worried about it. All right, guys. I think at this point we've got no choice but to listen. Here we go. But before we listen, really quickly, I have a song coming out that I did make while I was hearing it. It's called Freak Show. And it's coming out March 22nd. So you can pre-save it 
link in my description and the pinned comment. It would mean a lot to me if you did. And if you don't, that's fine. All right, off the bat, this piano's too damn fast. It's so freaking hard. <laughs> Hate to give the satisfaction, asking how you're doing now. How's the castle built of people you pretend to care about? Just look at the money. Look at you, cool guy, I got it. I see the parties and the diamonds. Sometimes when I close my eyes, six months of torture, you sold ass and forbidden paradise. Just loved you truly. Gotta laugh at the stupidity. I'll make some real big mistakes. God, what the hell happened? What the hell is this? Real big ever talked to told me you were bad bad news it's only crazy i hate the way i called them crazy too you're so convincing how do you lie without flinching? how do you lie how do you lie how do you oh, lie what a mesmerizing paralyzing a little thrill to get a figure out you were doing oh god knows i never will with a God, the high hat. It's a small victory. It's a very small victory in the grand scheme of the whole song, but this part, I kind of nailed. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, uh, uh, made me try like a vampire. I uh, see, and then I ruin it. I see, I remember what it's this. Every girl at home. that? That's not a pulse. That's just a noise. Oh, you made me look so Nailed it. Freaking nailed it. If only the piano chords were like uh, more stretched out. <laughs> See? Spot on. That's really not bad. Not even bad. Give me that, guys. Come on, give me that. What happened to me? Truly. Does anyone have an answer? What happened? I used to be like really good at this. I promise guys, like go look, I was really good. Go, and now I suck. And now I guess I'm just picking songs that are way too hard. But you know what, at the end of the day, how do you get better at something? By doing the easy thing, by doing the easy songs every time? So they always sound really good. You got to do the easy ones. Or do you challenge yourself? Or do you sit down, buckle in, and really just accept the fact that you're going to try and you're going to fail. But the more you try, 
the less you fail. Unless you pick the easy stuff, then you'll win, but you don't get any better. Only problem with me is I think I'm getting worse. So anyway, thank you for watching. God, thank you for making it through the whole song with me. This one sucks. If you like this video, give it a like. Subscribe to my channel. I upload when I want. I appreciate you guys watching. It's so fun. It's fun to sort of experiment with the type of content I'm making this year. All right, guys. I hope you have a really nice night. And you know what? I'll throw it in there. Really nice day, too. Have a nice day tomorrow. Yeah. And while I'm at it, hope your next day is good, too. And here, I'll say, I'll, I'll bite. Hope the uh, day after that's even better. Okay. Bye.